Hi, everyone. Thanks for joining us. This is a WBZ News Update. I'm Lisa Hughes. Police have arrested a juvenile for attacking a mail carrier in Lowell during the Nor'easter. The suspect allegedly pointed an airsoft rifle at that postal worker, then slashed the worker with a machete. The postal worker was taken to a local hospital and was treated there. There's been a deadly accident in Westwood. Police say an elderly woman was hit crossing University Avenue. There were two nurses on the scene who helped the victim until an ambulance could arrive, but she did not make it. The driver stayed at the scene. Investigators have not released the victim's name. Researchers tracking sharks off Cape Cod say they identified 55 sharks that they had never seen in the area before. They also say that's no reason to be more afraid to go in the water. The Atlantic White Shark Conservancy says shark activity in the water is basically the same over the last couple of years. I want to get a check of the forecast now as we look towards St. Patrick's Day and the weekend with Sarah Robleski. Temperatures today were fantastic. We climbed into the 50s in Boston the second time this month. 40s to the north and west where we have, the, of course, that fresh snowpack a little bit colder there. But we're going to hold on to the mild air. Tonight we're back into the 30s, increasing the clouds because, yes, we are tracking some moisture out to the west. But it doesn't look as though it's going to have much of an impact besides just a few sprinkles or showers by the evening hour. So tomorrow out the door, mainly dry. We'll find those clouds thickening up, a few breaks midday, and then towards the evening we'll watch for for those showers to come on through could linger across parts of the coast early on Saturday and then those winds out of the northwest will start to draw in some colder air for the second half of the weekend. So St. Patrick's Day back into the upper 40s to low 50s. Again, more clouds out there and if you do have plans towards the evening and at night, keep in mind you may bump into a few of those raindrops. At least for our Saturday, we are clearing out still mild to start, but temperatures drop and then Sunday, that's when you're really going to notice the change back to the 30s, but with that wind, it will feel like the 20s. So dress warmly if you're headed to the St. Patrick's Day Parade in Boston. Spring arrives on Monday with milder temperatures too. We hold on to sunshine through much of the week. Late in the week, we'll be tracking a system heading our way, but still staying mild with 50s for Wednesday and Thursday. Lisa. All right, Sarah, thank you. And thanks for being with us. This has been a WBZ News Update.